Hello my viewers and welcome to this exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I just want to teach you on how you can clean up your views and place them on your sheets in readiness for printing. I'll also show you on how you can load your sheets and start, you know, the placement of the, you know, the views that you've detailed on your sheets. Now, the example that I'm using there is a structural, you know, in the structural field, but I want to ask you that if you are an architect or an MEP guy, okay, don't worry. Everything that I'm going to show you is going to work in any field. Then I also want to ask you if you like what I'm doing on this channel, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you know when I upload a new video, you'll be notified that I uploaded a new video. And if you want to learn Revit architecture, Revit structure from start to finish in the course, make sure that you check the link in the description. There are courses where you can learn Revit from start to finish. So without wasting much of your time, let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see from here, this is what we are going to do. I placed all the views. Again, as I said, this is just an example. You can have an architectural project or an MEP project. The procedure is the same. So you see that if I just go to these other views, Okay, this is, these are the views that I'll be placing on the sheet, as you can see from there. Okay, if I go to this beam, I mentioned to you that I want to show you on how you can clean up the views. If you see from this one, it looks clean and neat. But what we are going to have, okay, as you keep on detailing is this. So I'll show you on how you can clean up and place them on your sheets, as you can see even from the other one. All right, so I'll start with this one. And if I, if I go to the 3D view, you see this is the example project that I'm using. I'm just, I just want to place, you know, this, you know, this detail, that beam and the connection on my sheet. So I'll go back to that view. So once you finish the modeling and of course the detailing, as you can see from there, the first thing you need to do is for you to clean up your views. As you can see, it looks messy. So what you need to do is to open that particular view. As you can see, I've opened it here. This is beam one. Then make sure that you go to the crop region, okay? If I just activate the crop region, you see that some of the things will disappear. Again, if I activate it, you see that those which are outside that box will simply disappear. So that is the first step for you. Click there and anything outside will simply disappear. Now, if there's a specific area that you want to see, it's just a matter of clicking on that box, then you simply drag like that. As you can see, everything outside the box will disappear. Okay, now from this detail now, I just need to start cleaning up what I don't want to see. I can simply go to that, you know, detail, right click, then hide in view, then by element. Okay, you see that I've already detailed. The purpose in, of this lesson is to show on how you can clean up and place them on your sheet. Are already detailed from what you are seeing here so i don't want to see that click on it you know hide in view by elements okay like that so as you can see i have the break line there okay i have another break line there so as you can see if i want this box to even reduce a bit i can do that so it's almost the way i want it to be then reduce like that now to hide the box, it's just a matter of going there and just, you know, deactivate the crop region. That box is called the crop region. So you can see that everything is perfect. Now, if I go to the other beam, you see, it's still the same thing. So the first thing that you need to do is just to make sure that you see that I have the crop region there. Okay. I can click on the crop region. It disappears. Make sure that you activate that box so that you use it by clicking on it and dragging like that so that you hide whatever you don't want to see. You can click there and maybe simply drag it up to there. Drag my box up to somewhere here and drag it up to there. Okay, this is what I want to see within this box. Okay, I don't want to see, you know, the, the grids. I'll select on all the grids like that then simply right click then hide in view by elements okay then i'll select that section 
and also hold the control then select that you know level then right click hide in view by element so in this this is the method that you are going to use to clean up your view okay by default it will look you know messy make sure that you 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 hide certain things that you don't want to see make use of the the box there so that you just you know remain with the area you want to see within your view once you do that then go there and just deactivate you know the crop region then you just remain with what you want to see whatever details you created here whatever text and everything will be seen just like this okay so i have the two views this one and this one this is what i want to place on my sheets because that's the purpose of this lesson just to teach you on how to clean up your views and place them on your sheets now i also have this let me also do the same if i just select click on that box just click outside okay if i just drag down there this is a section box how you create you know this box how you isolate it's just a matter of going to that view i'll give you an example if i just want to isolate this part just select maybe that connection any part within that area then click on section box selection box you see that it will be isolated like this so that's how i created you know i isolated these sections so you are going to have that box and also you know the levels what you don't want to see just select on it right click hide in view by elements i also don't want to see that level simply hide it just like that i'll do the same on these other ones all right select on that right click hide in view by elements and this is the last one i'll do the same so this is the process that you'll be following make sure that you hide what you don't want to see okay so i have the three details now cleaned up and the two beams and the other one now it's just a matter of you know creating you know my sheets loading one of the sheets if i go down here you see that that's the sheet right there the one which is here but i want to create a new sheet to create a new sheet just go to sheets the right click then you can click on new sheet or if you don't want to use that one you can simply go to to view then click on sheet from here you can load the sheets that you want to use from your libraries i'll go i'll pick the the a3 if i just click there it's from the uk library because under the title blocks that's where you find it if you're using that one okay so i'll just click on the a3 there click on open then make sure that you select it i'm using a3 then click on up okay then it will open like this then the placement of the views on your sheets is quite simple i'll start with beam one i'll use this one you can see that that one is shaded meaning that it's already placed on the other sheet so for this one i just hold my left mouse and simply drag it here then i'll see i've released my mouse you, you know you see that it flows like this then i'll click there it's placed click outside then if you want to reduce the length for you know that line there select on that port it's a view port then hold your left mouse and drag it click outside select on that hold your left mouse and then place it where i want it to be click outside then I'll go to the other one. You see that it changes there. This is Revit 2023. If I click once there, hold my left mouse and drag, release the mouse, then I can place this one right here. Then hold the dot there, the left mouse, place it right there, click outside. So I have the two views. I can select on that viewport. I'm just using the, the arrow on my keyboard, click outside, select on that one, the arrow on my keyboard, just like that then i'll go to the other details i'll just click once hold it release the mouse then simply place it there then hold by that dot just like that go to the other one the other detail which is detail b drag it release the mouse place it click outside and this is the last one hold it drag it okay then release my mouse by clicking there then by that dot i can drag it i'm just holding my left mouse button release it click outside okay then if i want to move this one first of all select you know the detail then put the cursor there and simply drag it okay want it to be closer there click outside select on that i can even use my mouse just like that so as you can see all the views are placed okay so 
Just as a recap, make sure that you clean up the views by making use of the viewports, make hiding things that you don't want to see and simply drag everything as you can see. So thanks for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and see you in some more upcoming tutorials.